Good Monday morning, Glads. Only three more of these left for me. I'm Anthony Berkey. And I'm excited too, Antoine. Let's do this. I'm Dee Contreras, and this is your KWHS News. Seniors, two more colleges will be visiting us this week. Everest College will be here on Wednesday, May 3rd, during advisory in the Common. And Western State Colorado University rescheduled their visit for Thursday, May 4th, during advisory. Remember to get your hall passes from the counseling office to attend these college visits. Hey, Glads, if you're a senior taking classes at D3 My Way, we have a deadline correction for you. You must complete your coursework by May 15th. Don't delay or you may not receive your diploma in May. Attention all students, if you have overdue books, please return them to the library this week to avoid being put on conditions. The last day to check out books is May 12th. Check out Infinite Campus if you want to know about any other outstanding conditions or fees you owe. Seniors, this is especially important for you because you must clear your conditions and fees to ensure you receive your diploma in May. Return your books to the library before or after school and pay your fees in the business office. Seniors, time is running out for you to buy a yearbook. For a limited time, the yearbook staff has a deal for you. When you buy your senior yearbook this year, you can buy another yearbook from a prior year for an additional $10. So if you didn't buy a book from your freshman year, now is your chance to get that one, but only while supplies last. It's a really cool deal. If you haven't bought your yearbook for this year, those are still only $65. Go to yearbookforever.com or the business office to buy yours now before prices go up. Your books will be distributed on May 12th. Students, want to see some really cool artwork? UMB Bank and 502 Security Boulevard has a showcase of WHS students created artwork. The showcase will be up until May 5th. You can stop by anytime during normal banking hours to see it. Make some time to stop by the bank to check out the awesome work our fellow glads created. Hey Anthony, Miss Betsy's been cooking up a storm in the kitchen this morning. Want to know what we're having? I sure do. Hey Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Happy May everybody. I can't believe it, not too many days left till graduation and the end of school. Today we're having a corn dog with baked beans and fries, so come on down and see us. Have a great day. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Please pay your lunch charges in the cafeteria or add money to your account. Miss Betsy cannot feed you for free. Students needing some help with academic subjects? NHS students are offering tutoring during advisory. Stop by the library on Wednesday to sign up for a time to pick up your pass for Thursday. You'll be able to use computers at this time, too. If you need help, you should really check it out. Auditions for the Coles Color Guard team for the 2017-2018 marching band season are coming up. Auditions will be this coming Thursday and Friday. Next week, they go from Monday through Thursday. All auditions will be in the small gym from 4 to 6 p.m. Please see Mr. Colgrove if you need more information. Now here's Elijah Clark with our sports update. Hey Glads, it's Monday and I'm Elijah Clark with your Gladiator Sports Update. Open Gym for Ladies interested in playing volleyball next year is on Wednesdays in Bowers Gym from 3 to 5 p.m. All current and future volleyball players inv are invited to join us to bump, set, and spike our way through next year's season. Open Gyms for Ladies Basketball starts tonight from 6 to 8 in Bowers Gym. If you're interested in playing basketball next year, come work on your skills. The Open Gym will continue on Monday night. Gentlemen, if you're interested in playing basketball next year, come ref refine your skills at the Open Gyms on Thursdays from 6 to 8 in Bowers Gym. A huge thank you to the WSD3 team that participated in the Cops vs. Kids Dodgeball Tournament last Saturday. The event raised over $1,400 for teen suicide prevention. Congratulations to our dodgeball team who came in third of 14 teams. In tennis news, after being canceled for rain last week, our ladies tennis team returned to the court in full force against Canyon City, but their rackets were a bit chilly against the Tigers. Congratulations are in order for Mariah Boudreau for being named player of the match. Regionals are coming up for the ladies tennis team this Friday and Saturday. If you have some time to go out and show your support, they would really appreciate it. The ladies soccer team has been kicking around some new strategies in a show. The ladies soccer team took on Harrison at the Panther Stadium on Thursday, but struggled in the loss. Our ladies soccer team is back in action tomorrow here at, at home against Kansas City at 4 p.m. Come check out their skills and cheer them on to victory. Our Glad's baseball team takes on the Purple School this Thursday right here at home at 4 p.m. Go out and help them bring home the dub. If you're interested in watching some of the fastest students on campus, check out the track meet this Friday. The varsity track team kicks off their Cinco de Mayo celebration at one of two track meets. Teams will either be at the Canyon City Blossom Invite or the Pueblo Centennial Twilight Meet. Either place, we wish them good luck and fast time. Best of luck to all our sports teams this week. That's all I have. Have a great week. I'm Elijah Clark. Back to you, Anthony and Dee. Thanks, Elijah. Students, if you're looking for a full-time summer job, the Widefield Facilities Department is hiring students who are 17 or older for their summer crews. Workers must have a valid driver's license. You can find the application online at wsd3.org. The deadline to submit an application is May 12th. Hey, Glads. 
Want some laughs before finals begin? You're in for a treat as the Gladi actors present May the Farce Be With You. The Star Wars spoof this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Tickets are $7 for adults and 5 for students. The show starts at 7 p.m. See you in the auditorium. Students, it's that time of year again. If you would like to run for student cabinet, you know, the ones who plan our pep assemblies, dodgeball games, and spirit days, or class council, they plan dances like homecoming and prom. Petitions are available today. To run for office, you must have a 3.0 GPA and have your petition completed and submitted by May 9th. You may run for both cabinet and class council. See Ms. Ship in room 202 during lunch, advisory, or after school to pick your petition to run. Elections will take place on May 17th and 18th in the small gym. And finally, seniors, here are some additional notices for you to put on your calendars as our year winds down. Senior exams are on Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, May 17th is Senior Awards Night. The Senior Breakfast is on Thursday, May 18th at 7.15 at the Cheyenne Mountain Resort. Tickets are $22 and are available in the business office. Friday, May 19th is graduation practice at 11.30. Please be on time. And of course, graduation is on Saturday, May 20th at 9 a.m. Seniors, you must be in the small gym by 7.30. Don't be late. That's all we have for you today. This is the last month of school. Let's finish strong. I'm Dee Contreras. Good luck to all of those students taking AP exams this week. I'm Anthony Berkey, and this was your KWHS News.